Hi everyone, my name is Caroline. I'm a family nurse practitioner and one of the MP instructors here at SMNP Reviews. I worked for a couple of years as a urology nurse and I'm very excited to talk with you all about sexually transmitted infections today. Having an understanding of this topic is crucial not only for practice, but also as you prepare to take your certification examination. For a deeper understanding of this material, I highly recommend checking out our review courses as we cover everything you need to know to be successful. If you haven't already, go ahead and click the subscribe button so that you can stay up to date on our latest videos. So let's get started. What exactly is a sexually transmitted infection? Well, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, or the CDC, an STI is a type of infection that is spread through vaginal, anal, or oral sex and can affect anyone. So let's discuss the most common STI, human papillomavirus or HPV. Many people with this condition may not have symptoms However, it can present as warts or bumps in the genital area. In most cases, the body will clear HPV on its own, but when it doesn't, we worry about certain HPV subtypes that can cause genital warts or cervical cancer. While HPV is most commonly associated with cervical cancer, it also contributes to other forms of cancer, which is why the vaccine is recommended for all individuals regardless of their sex. Do you remember what vaccine this is? The Gardasil vaccine. And when is it typically administered? This vaccine is recommended routinely between 11 and 12 years of age, but it can be administered as early as nine years of age in some cases. The key is getting the vaccination before onset of sexual activity. Vaccination is recommended through age 26 if individuals were not previously vaccinated. Moving on to another topic that the boards love asking about, reportable STIs. Local laws and regulations regarding the reporting of STIs are determined by each state, so be sure to check yours. Do you remember which STIs are reportable diseases in every state? If you were thinking chancroid, gonorrhea, chlamydia, syphilis, and HIV AIDS, you would be correct. I like to remember these STIs with the mnemonic, caution, getting checked seems highly advisable, as the first letter of these words cleverly represents the STIs that are reportable in every state. Let's review what we have discussed together with a practice question. A nurse practitioner is guiding a student through the sexually transmitted infections or the STIs that are reportable diseases in every state. Which of the following STIs are mandated for reporting? Select all that apply. A, gonorrhea. B, herpes simplex virus type 2 or HSV2. C, human papillomavirus type 11 or HPV11. D, syphilis or E, trichomoniasis. And feel free to pause the video to give yourself some time to think about the answer choices and press play when you are ready to review. Well, to get to the right answer, we need to think back to the reportable STIs that we discussed earlier in the video. So what do you think about option A, gonorrhea? You've got it, this one is reportable. Option B, herpes simplex virus type 2 or HSV2, is not reportable, so we can go ahead and rule that one out. While option C, human papillomavirus, is the most common STI, it is not reportable, so we can also rule this one out. Now, what about option D, syphilis? Yes, this one is reportable. Lastly, option E, trichomoniasis, is not reportable. Therefore, our answer choices are gonorrhea, which is option A, and syphilis, which is option D. Great work, everyone. There are several more STI-related topics to nail down for your exams, but I hope this video helps you grasp the basics of a few of them. Our review courses give you all that you need to know to become a real deal NP. If you are looking for a wonderful free community of students prepping for boards just like you, make sure you check out our Facebook group. These will be linked in the description. And here are our references for the content. 
and you all are so close to becoming real deal NPs, make sure you check out our other YouTube videos. We are rooting for you and we know that you can definitely pass your boards. Until next time.